Hi, it's Daniel Hill here from Multilet UK. And what I'm gonna to talk to you about in this video is commercial valuations. Now, lots of you have probably heard about commercial valuations. Some of you are perhaps using them in practice. What we're gonna talk about today is our experience in using these in Multilet portfolios. Because there's a lot of uncertainty and lack of understanding in the market about how these actually work. So to start off with, what is a commercial valuation? So some properties are valued on the bricks and mortar value, like this one here. Residential house might be priced based on the cost plus a developer's margin or the price per square foot for a certain area. This is the price of an asset based on you know, what it's actually worth tangibly. Whereas other things are valued on perhaps the intangibles and rather than the bricks and mortar, the physical cost, uh, and valuation on that basis, they're valued on the commercial interest or the commercial appeal. And this is something like, if you imagine this, this is a spot outside Wembley Stadium where you can rent a spot, put up your stand and, and you can sell products, you can generate revenue, you can trade a business. And the, the commercial valuation of that is far higher than perhaps the, you know, the, the piece of tarmac that it was, uh, the, that it was sitted on. And this is, would be valued on the commercial appeal rather than the physical asset cost. And this is the difference between perhaps a traditional residential bricks and mortar value and the way that some entities, some other assets are valued in a commercial uh, valuation. And this applies to our multi-let and HMO portfolios. And whilst there is still huge misunderstanding about how it works in practice, none of us, have a solid handle on how it's calculated. We've been using it for five years to build our portfolio. Uh, we have our own portfolio around the UK through our sister company, PPN Portfolio Builder. We've also sourced and converted over 100 sites to date. And we've got quite a lot of experience using this in practice. So whilst there's no hard and fast rules, there's a few examples that I can use to illustrate this. And this is one of them. This is a property that we purchased in 2011, and we paid 82,000 pounds for this as a residential house. It was in a reasonably bad condition, reasonably average area, and would rent out for about four, 450, 500 pounds a month. So not a huge commercial appeal there. However, once we converted it and renovated it, if we renovated it to a residential house, it might have been worth, say, 100, 110, maybe a little bit more, 115, as a residential house. But what we did was we converted it into a HMO and a multi-let. And the same way that that market stall spot outside Wembley Stadium has a huge commercial value because of the commercial appeal, the amount of revenue it can generate, this property is exactly the same. And whilst we bought it for £82,000, as a residential house once converted, it might have been worth, say, 110, 115. Because it was generating over uh, £1,500 per calendar month in rent, making over £1,000 per calendar month profit, the appeal to that on a commercial basis was far higher. And we had this valued by the bank at 167000 which is significantly higher than that residential value. And we actually ended up selling this on for 140000 So... £40,000 more than it cost us to buy and refurbish because it had a commercial value that was higher than the residential. This is a very broad stroke example of how commercial valuations can work. Commercial valuations are a sensitive topic. There doesn't appear to be any hard and fast rule with this. If you'd like some more support on your multi-let portfolio, please do give us a call or visit the website. And I wish you the very best of luck with your own commercial valuations. Thank you very much.